so Tanya, here is uh, your video. I've got uh, the the side uh, view on the left, and then the front to back view on the right. So a couple things that I want to show you. One is I really like the way you start. So you actually just fall into, <clears throat> sorry, you fall into the run, which is the way that you want to do it. A um, couple things though, I think that you'll see is one is your dorsiflexing your toes. So see how your, your toes are pointing up and you're most likely also pushing off on, on those toes. So that means that you're holding tension in your toes and this is where you can get into some, some shin splint issue uh, when you're bringing your toes up. Your toes should be um, very relaxed, almost pointing down. See that means that you're actually bringing um, your feet forward as opposed to getting your feet to come along for the ride. Um, so it, it just gives you a little something to think about and it creates a little bit, as you see, you're kind of pushing off. So if, we, if I put a little line on top of your head, you'll see that you'll, uh, obviously, so, you'll go up and down a few times. So it's not, you know, it's not drastic, but obviously the, the more, uh, you know, the more we can minimize the vertic vertical displacement, the better off you'll be. Uh, you look very relaxed when you're running, which is always good, and that's something that's kind of hard to teach. Uh, but... Um, a couple things is is are, are kind of you're using your legs a little too much and partly that has to do with the fact that you're not completely straight when you're running so if I'm drawing lines you've got the f you know you've got two distinct lines happening in your body as opposed to if you bring your your hips forward ever so slightly you'll you know you'll have that nice forward line so you'll have that very very slight lean but you'll be leaning from the ankle as opposed to leaning from the waist, which is what's happening now. So it just shows you a little something to think about. Uh, and I'll, I'll talk to you about a bit more about the arms um, when we do the front to back, uh, when we look at the front to back. So here we'll see you coming back. You still see that you're kind of carrying your feet, and you're really elongating that that, that, that stride. So your stride, if you're going faster, should elongate, but it should, happening, should be happening below and behind you. So that makes, um, that makes a bit of a, a difference. So if we're looking at your stride, so it's really out in front of you and you end up, you're not heel striking very much because when you're in weight bearing position, you're over here, but when you're, because you're elongating your stride in front of you, you kind of have a tendency to uh, to kind of touch the, the ground first with your heel. All right, now looking at the uh, the front to back. Uh, again, the one nice thing is you look very relaxed, and your arm swing, you know, is is very relaxed. What's happening though is because you're not swinging your arms as much as you could be, what's happening is your shoulders are swinging to compensate. So if I, you're seeing a bit of the rotations happening this way. And then this way, instead of actually, the more you swing your arms in, in the, um, swing the arm in the shoulder girdle, the more you actually stabilize the shoulders. The more you stabilize the shoulders, the more your hips can rotate. So it's just something to, to think about. Because you're not swinging your, uh, your, uh, your arms very much, your, uh, your shoulders have to rotate to compensate. And you can see your ponytail following a little bit. And you'll see, um, you'll see this a bit more when you're coming back towards me. So I can kind of slow it down for you. See what's happening? If you're actually looking at the Vega um, logo on your shirt, it's going left to right as opposed to staying, um, staying fairly stable. And I know there's going to be a little bit of, of movement, but again, you're trying to minimize that as much as possible. The good thing is, and here you can actually see, if you're looking at the, um, your feet, you can actually see you know, the bottom of your heel. So again, nothing, um, I've seen much worse, don't worry, but the more you can actually minimize that, the better off you'll be. So see how your shoulders are, are, are rotating this way and then that way? The more, you can, the more you can actually get rid of that, the, be the better off you'll be. So a couple tips. Uh, one, I would, again, bring your hips forward ever so slightly so that you're, you know, you've got that nice tall, uh, you've got that nice slight forward lean. Uh, and then relax your legs and then just actually use your arms a little bit more. So just remember, thinking about, uh, about swinging those arms low and back, low and back. And it'll, it'll uh, make you um, 
a slightly more efficient runner and you'll get to enjoy running a bit more. So hopefully this helped. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, obviously you, need, you know how to get a hold of me. And uh, thank you for your time.